And the reason why I don't let someone call me a celebrity because it's different treatment until someone can prove this celebrity theory to me that when we all walk in the same room, that I'm breathing a different type of air that I'm going to go into a different, I'm going to go up and you're going to bury me in celebrity heaven or celebrity ground. Then don't tell me I'm a celebrity so you can treat me different. I I agree agree with you. Celebrities horrible. And I agree with you on that point, but my other point was just of how young people look at who they choose as their celebrity. Yeah. And, and that part we can't deny. Young people, they look at us as celebrities. It don't even they, matter. They need, to, they need to stop tricking young people like that. I they agree. Need, they I, need that, to, I agree. That they was need to run ads to say, yes. your mama is your is celebrity. celebrity. Your daddy agree. is your biggest celebrity. You you don't even know these people. So I to agree. you don't know what kind of trauma these celebrities are going through. Most yes. of these people are on pills. They're on all type of antidepressants. And the reason why they're on these pills is because everybody wants to tell a celebrity what to do, how to act, how to talk. And so I blew the roof off of it by coming on the Internet saying, fuck you. Right. I'm not going to let you tell me how to talk. I'm a full bodied man. I watch. I listen to the radio. I play a radio song. Wow. Sexy little B, sexy little ho, no, 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 your throat. And I'm like, wait a minute. Right. Y'all telling me how to talk, but right. you pay a teenage kid to sway the minds of these young people and curse and talk like that and turn these little girls into hoochie mamas right. and turn these boys into some type of drug head sex demons. And then you want to tell me how to talk? But also, also, no. everything is for a reason. There's a reason why they only play those kind of songs on the radio. And it's yep. all connected to why they want young people, especially young black males, to go in, into that lifestyle that those particular rappers who they who they forced to say that. Yeah. There's a lot. I, when I was in Atlanta, I met a whole lot of rappers mm-hmm. and a lot of them don't even act like that. They don't even talk like that. They're educated. Right. They got degrees. They got families, everything like that. They have other stuff where they're talking positive stuff. But that ain't what the record label wants. But how can you say you love black people if you're going to do that? No, 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 how no. Can, but how can you say you love black people when so oh, many people around these rappers get arrested? I agree. And, and it's, nah. the same, it's the same thing as when, as back in the day, when they would have blackface and they would do the dance and everything like that. And that's what they wanted them to do. Mm-hmm. And, and they'll, that's what every, that's what got them spins. That's what got them the, the um, you know what I mean? Getting hired, the money, everything like that. This is all related. Hold on. I'm about to relate all this. So the rappers now, a lot, a lot of them, the record label says, look, we see this positive stuff. If, if they presented them some positive stuff, they're like, nah, let's talk about guns and drugs and stuff like that. That's what we want to promote and put on the thing. For women, mm-hmm. you got women that want to talk like Lauren Hill, that want to talk like Rapsy and all like that. They don't get no spins. They're like, okay, you got to be like this, 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 talk about this, and then they get the spins. Now, let's go to the media. They, they reward people who did what they did to Kwame Brown. Mm-hmm. They reward people who do controversy and negativity and things like that, like mm-hmm. Stephen A. Smith and Charles Barkley. They mm-hmm. reward the people who do the court gestures like what Barkley does and stuff like that, right? So it's always bigger than them. It's bigger than them. There's somebody up here that's holding the strings. But guys, have to, people have to be able to understand and wake up to see that they're being used. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know. I, I don't think a lot of people know that they're being used. I don't think so either, but yeah. I, agree, I agree with you. I agree with you to a certain extent okay. because uh, there are people pulling the puppet strings, but we don't have to drink the Kool-Aid. I, and I, agree. I, and I actually 100%. go out to these clubs and the reason well, I don't go to clubs, I go to hookah bars. And okay. the reason why they're giving you that type of music is because that's what sells. We actually like it when that song come on. I didn't know the words of that song until I heard it. And I really listened to it at a hookah bar. And I said, what, what is they what are they saying? But and also, it, it's majority women up and they with right, it, right, mouth right. wide open. So right. you can't always blame the person who's capitalizing and making money off of it if you're buying it. Also, but also though, if they play it nonstop and that's all you hear on the radio. You said when you turn on the radio and I don't all you listen hear to the radio. Is, I don't either, but I'm saying a lot of people do. So they turn on the radio, they hear. Seven songs over and over and over and oh, over again. Man. Just, just yeah. to, and, and you know the words without even knowing know the words if you're listening to the radio. Yeah. Meanwhile, listen, meanwhile the positive, daughter, like, right. Oh. Meanwhile, the positive people, like I turned yeah. my daughter on the Lauren Hill, turned my daughter on the Rhapsody, you know, Sirac up here in DC, all these different positive women. We have to buy stuff. their songs though. We, we have, have to, to buy I agree. Them. I agree 100 percent If you're not gonna buy it, then it's almost and I guarantee you. 
all those artists that you name, uh -huh. if, if if you ask them from their point of view, why don't people listen to your music? They'd be like, because I'm not giving the message that they really want to hear. Or, or, that, or that they really want to promote. It's not just I think it's a little, I think it's both. I'm going to give, give credit. Give I'm going to definitely I uh, kick the draws in the ass of the execs yes. because they know that the, the people who are perpetuating this bull crap, right. they need the money. And, and so all they're doing is out. using their money over people that don't have money in yep. order to, but my thing is the money is not helping. Of it's course. not staying in our neighborhoods. I agree. Um, there's a shooting every other dog on week. So you got to keep paying these attorneys. If I'm an attorney of a rapper, uh -huh. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell who you beefing with, where you at every of time. Course. Of course. If I know the way you're going to react is to shoot at somebody in a nightclub yep. and you're not going to have security. Oh shit. I'm going to get damn my money so, low. So, oh, my money low. Let me, let me show where, whoever the concert going to be that I know shooting. Hey y'all, the ops go over there to that club. They in there. And the next thing you know, the morning come. So he get forty, fifty thousand dollars because the rapper don't know how to move with security. But listen, but with that same thing with the media, why they like to drama, like to put up drama and post different things about, make articles. Okay, yep. they first say this, that, because they feed off of that too, and all they money. know that that's gonna. It's all about money, and yep. that's and that's what that's why I would say. Okay, you know, I, I said to the media, I, I didn't. Did I tell you this? I, I think I told you this. So many media people reached out to me. And said, "Hey, I know you're friends with Kwame. I know that's your dude. You know what I mean, like that. You might want to talk to him and stuff like that." I was like, "Talk to him and say what?" You might want to shut him up. I was like, "Talk to him and say what?" I was like, "Kwame is a grown man. Kwame is saying what is on his mind and his heart." I was like, "You think that I'm gonna talk to Kwame on your behalf?" I was like, "You must be crazy." Like, it's hard enough for you to talk crazy. to me on your behalf. I'm telling you, think I'm a, but but the thing about it is, I, and I said this, I was like, "They're just worried." That you're gonna come for them next. 